Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about yaw and trailmakers airplanes, why it seems to suck buns, how to make it functional, and even work awesome in the right airplanes. So stick around. The tail wags the doggo. The problem is the body of your plane doesn't provide enough drag on the vertical axis to keep the nose pointed in the direction you want to go. Like you hold the rudder and the plane turns and then you let go of the rudder and the nose points back almost to where it was when you started. Why bother? It just makes my plane fly like a wet noodle. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. The first thing you can do to fix this is slow down the motion of the hinge or wing piece that's generating the yaw. This matters most when you release the input. If the rudder moves slow, it will resist a lot of the tail wag that tends to follow. The first time I had yaw work and feel right was on a giant cargo plane I built and stranded in space to haul all the logic blocks down in one trip. It was because the massive body of the plane was chonky enough to provide something for the rudder to push against at the other end of the plane. Without that resisting force, it was like when you try to do four-wheel steering on a car and forget to flip the back hinges. We've all been there. But Stallion says hello. One block to rule them all. So after extensive testing and experimenting, by that I mean just sticking tail fins in weird spots to see how it performs, eventually I discover the small tail fin is more powerful than we ever imagined. And by we, I mean me, because you probably already knew this. Just keep in mind that if it's not a tail fin, it won't give you the same drag-based resistance. Wings are made for lift, ailerons and elevator fins are made for turning. They can provide enough lateral drag to prevent a flat spin, but not enough to provide a fulcrum against the lever of your tail fin, if that makes any sense at all. Stick it in your nose. The simplest fix is the wingtips. In fact, even if you aren't trying to fix the yaw, you should try this. The extra stability you get out of two simple blocks can be a game changer. I also often find a little nook where my wing meets the fuselage as I often use dihedral wings for better roll stability. I should probably just do a full video on aircraft stability, I do kind of obsess over it. Anyway, the best place if you can only get a few into the build is as far from the rudder as you can get. The nose. I piston glitch them in to hide them. And in the right spot, you can get this nice little wingtip detail that'll have people trying to figure out what decal it is. This must be done with care though. Tail fins do not block drag from the block behind it. So you may end up with some pesky red drag markers as a trade-off. Engine assisted yaw. This is where it gets interesting. If you have a left and a right engine, you have two buddies to introduce to your rudder. By linking the inputs to your left and right rudder with the inputs to your right and left engines, you can get kind of silly with it. Rust vectoring is also an option. I don't have any examples to show you as I've never loved the way it feels in Trailmakers. The hinges moving with the weight of an engine on them usually generates weird roll forces that make the plane feel janky at least when you use it for yaw. Plus, I usually have 10 or more engines buried from nose to tail and wagging the one on the end just feels kind of silly. It's never going to feel like War Thunder. It is Trailmakers after all, and it's the best digital Lego set in the universe, at least at its price point. It's probably never gonna feel like flying a plane in a game that is exclusively a flying game. Although, I am getting close to a flight sim kind of feeling with some of my newer planes. But trust me, if this game had IRL physics, aircraft design would be like a bajillion times harder. You don't want to build the perfect plane only to discover it's prone to Dutch rolls and wild yaw oscillations due to vortices forming under the wings causing a lift differential that can only be fixed with a yaw dampening system or a total redesign. It sucks! Learn to fly! Look. I get it. I flew around in Trailmakers without yaw for years. I had tons of fun and I thought I was a badass pilot and I was. And so are you. But you're gonna get bored. And when you get bored, 
dry yaw. Now that I've got the hang of it, Trailmakers feels like a whole new game. Discovering what you can do with yaw takes practice. Incorporating it into your natural reactions in a dogfight takes even more practice. You will get different results at different speeds with different planes. In my SR5 Nova Star build, if you so much as think about touching the yaw above 450 miles an hour, you get this crazy chaotic flip that can be used to dodge rockets or bullets or crashing chirpo plates or fried pizza. Anyway, below 450 miles an hour, the yaw is buttery smooth and super easy to control. Imperfect does not mean useless. In most planes, you will never be able to get the yaw to feel perfect. Having the ability to yoink the nose left or right in an instant has become an option I cannot live without. In this clip, I'm trying to wipe this section of Maze Valley as fast as I can. I almost get wiped by flak here. I go full burn because I know my plane won't survive another blast. I snake away to confuse the flak balloon aim. I realize I'm close to a shot on this other balloon and without a thought I tap right rudder and send over a missile and a few pounds of lead special delivery. In this clip I'm chasing this dumb speeder around hoping something badass happens for a video. Spoiler, no badass footage was captured, unless not crashing counts. So, I'm chasing this dumb speeder, I keep missing rocket after rocket, I've got the HUD off, I can't even see if I'm getting a lock or not. I'm annoyed because it was really hard to stay with him through here, and I've done nothing impressive, so I stretch it for one more rocket hit, when I should have pulled out and reset. Rocket misses, and I'm about 5 meters above the ground with no speed and my nose pointed down. Oops. I should be done. But I yaw y'all, and I stomp the left rudder and give it the go-go juice. I get just enough nose authority to redirect my momentum and avoid a Hoodoo's flavored dirt nap by about a centimeter. Anyway, if you're still here watching this, uh, thank you very much. I hope uh, it was informative for you in some way. If you have a question or if I left something out that you want to know, go ahead and ask in the comments. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If at some point you stop to click like or subscribe during this video, thank you very much for that and have an awesome day. Anyway, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this cat. Don't you, don't do it. Don't, don't. <laughs> oh my God.